I'd like to say a quick word on Trevor Lawrence. That's one of the terrible game-ending interceptions that you will ever see. First and 10, what, A, you don't want to give them the ball back that quickly anyway. Now, of course, if you have a wide-open touchdown, you throw it. I'm not suggesting you don't. You need a touchdown to win the game. But everything about that play, everything about that decision, the throw, everything about it is so disastrous. Trevor Lawrence has not developed. He's not better than he was in college. And Doug Peterson is supposed to be a quarterback guru. And they just paid Trevor Lawrence 50-something million dollars a year during this offseason. I, I, I'm, if I'm them, I'm very concerned. And there's a stat here on the screen. It was his 17th game with multiple turnovers since entering the league in 2021, which is the most of any player in the league in that span. Man, if I'm, if I'm them, my biggest concern, and there are a lot of them, is that he just doesn't have it just isn't good he just isn't as good as he obviously should be they will attract a reputable head coach though to replace peterson wouldn't you think yeah because someone will want to go coach him right well if you look at the jobs that figure to be open the jets no one is going to want the jaguars people are going to want the bears people are going to want because they're going to want to coach Trevor Lawrence and Caleb Williams, who are both relatively recent number one overall picks who seem to have generational talent written all over them. Someone is going to say, I can resurrect Trevor Lawrence and I can resurrect Caleb Williams. Yeah, I think you're right, but I'm not sure that Trevor Lawrence is resurrectable. I mean, I suppose there's a coach that could get something out of him, but, you know, he reminds me of, like in baseball, we say you're a batting cage hitter. Like, you look great in the cage. When you're in the game, you throw the ball wherever you want in his case, even though it looks good. It's often to the wrong team. His decision-making hasn't improved 1%, like you said, since he was 18 years old. When he, he is the guy that you send off the bus first. Because if you've ever stood next to him or been in a room where he is, he's enormous. Enormous. Like you send him off the bus and you say, hey, guess what? That's our quarterback. You'd never believe it. He is built much more like a tight end than he is a quarterback. But unfortunately, he has not dramatically improved in any obvious way.